this winter storm watch will be in effect for Saturday and it goes from the morning through the nighttime hours of Saturday with mostly snow, but also some ice related concerns moving into our area. So we'll have some rain showers this evening and then drier weather currently situated over the upper plains will be moving in for tomorrow. This is our next system that's going to be moving in for the weekend. It's over the southwest and doesn't look too impressive right now as it tracks across the southern plains. It will be picking up moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico, and this will be a broad storm system affecting everywhere between the Gulf Coast and the Great Lakes on Saturday. For tonight, some rain showers moving through, and then we have improving conditions for Friday, mostly cloudy skies during the day and a quiet picture across northern Michigan. Then early Saturday, that next system coming out of the southern plains will be spreading snow into our area. We'll have to see how far th this pink area indicating the potential of ice will move northward. It looks like uh, we could get a bit of a lull midday and then some heavy snow in the late afternoon through nighttime hours of Saturday. The purple and pink indicating that wintry mix where we'll have the potential for some sleet and freezing rain, especially areas south of Alpena. And then on Sunday, we should see improving conditions leading to a dry afternoon and evening. Overnight, where it will be heading down to about 36 degrees in Alpena, 32 in Amayo, 36 in Oscoda, with rain showers moving through and a breeze from the southwest. Tomorrow, high temperatures in the lower 40s. That will happen early in the day. By late in the day, we'll have temperatures cooling off. Highs near 42 degrees in Alpena, up to 45 in Oscoda, and 41 in Mayo, with mostly cloudy skies. So for tomorrow, we're going to have morning temperatures in the lower 40s, near 40 degrees in the afternoon, and mostly cloudy skies tomorrow tomorrow evening with temperatures dropping into the lower 30s. For Saturday, we'll have high temperatures near 27 degrees. It looks like we'll, we'll get two heavier bursts of snow early in the day on Saturday and then a late day into the nighttime hours of Saturday with lighter snow showers late morning and midday. The risk of ice will be mainly along and south of M72, but we'll have to see the exact track of the storm because that's going to dictate the transition zone between snow and and ice. At this point, I'm thinking most of the area shaded in yellow. So it points north of Harrisville, areas north of Mayo, 6 to 12 inches of snow. A greater risk of ice, which will be cutting down on snow amounts south of Harrisville, more areas closer to Saginaw Bay, will more likely be getting about 3 to 6 inches of snow, but again, greater ice buildup further to the south. On Sunday, improving conditions with highs near 21 degrees, mostly cloudy skies on Monday with high temperatures near 28 degrees and then getting a little bit warmer for Tuesday. Highs near 34 degrees with a chance of snow showers in the afternoon and evening. Then on Wednesday, another chance of snow showers for the afternoon and evening with highs near 32 degrees. Towards the end of next week, it looks like we'll get some colder temperatures. Highs near 20 on Thursday with just a slight chance for a few flurries.